All right, now one of the things I wanna talk about real quick is the link between cortisol and adrenaline because it explains a lot about why you don't really wanna work out at night if you don't have to. Now cortisol increases adrenaline by increasing the action of the PNMT enzyme, which converts noradrenaline into adrenaline. This is what gives you energy and drive and focus for your day. That's why it's supposed to be high in the morning, moderate throughout the day, and then low in the evening. If cortisol is high at night, adrenaline is going to be high at night, which makes it harder to sleep and to get into a deep sleep. If you produce too much cortisol when it's supposed to be low, like you would by working out at night, then you run the risk of inverting your circadian rhythm, which generally is what has happened to those who feel more fired up to train at night. But if cortisol is high all day and at night, it can become chronically elevated. And there's a bunch of reasons why that's not a good thing among them being, number one, can eventually lower testosterone. Number two, increases muscle protein breakdown, which slows down growth. Number three, increases myostatin, which limits growth. Number four, decreases the conversion of T4 to T3, so it slows your metabolism. And number five, it inhibits the immune system, which is key for muscle damage repair and not getting sick.